Hello Counter-Strike lovers, I'm going to show you today how you can record your demos in ZSGO and how you can convert them into an AVI file or MP4, whatever you want. Um, first off, there are there's more than one way. Um, if you want to have the, the real professional approach, I'd recommend you, because my way is not going to be the real the console. professional one, I'd recommend you tweet his videos. He has a lot of tutorials on how he does it. He uses the in-game tool. Uh, he converts it into virtual dub, uses Sony Vegas. A lot of software and a lot of knowledge is necessary, in my opinion, for that approach. Just check out Tweeter's channel, and he's a real cool guy. He explains it very, very good, in my opinion. But it's just not for like my the way I want to use it, because it's like I don't need all the sparkly effects. I just want to have it quick and simple. And so I'm going to record it with Bandicam. And f so first of all, we want to get Bandicam, of course, from the official homepage. You can download it here. Um, yeah, then let's get into it. Start the program. Okay, first off, I want to say I have most of the settings on default. Some of it I've uh, I changed, like this one. You really don't want to have this one. This just gives the frames per second um, sign here in the in the in the corner or wherever you want it to. You, we don't want to use that. So this is the important part, in my opinion. Um, of course, you have to remember your start and stop key. You can pause the video even even with when you're in game. Um, what I changed is I made it for I made these uh, presets to YouTube 720p, and yeah, you can play around a little bit. It depends on how good your computer is. Mine is I'd say mid to high. It's not it's not top notch, but it's not a bad one. So I, I played around 30 frames per second is is really enough for my purpose. But you can even I I tune it up to 120. It it does get very slow, and you don't really need that, but Somewhere in between of 30 to 60 frames per second, I think is is is, is enough for normal usage. Quality, I'm playing around 50 to 100, and to be honest, I don't really see a difference. It all looks very good, looks just in just like in game. So yeah, made the the mid set, and I didn't really change anything down here. So as I said, most of it is on default. You have to play around a little bit, and it it all depends on how good and how strong a computer is. But yeah, well, let's get in game now. So now we're in game, and what I'm going to show you first is how you can make your own demo, because of course you want to, you might want to record or convert some of your uh, competitive matches. But first, I'm going to show you how you can record like uh, a death match or demolition, or whatever, some casual game, whatever you want to have. I'm going to make one on office, harmless bots, just so nobody gets him away. So whenever you want to start your demo, you just have to type in one command. It's pretty simple. Just type in your console record or record and whatever name you want to use. Like, I'm going to record penis because it's a short one. Haha. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And now anything we do, anything we do is on demo. So I just want to show you guys one thing, not that one. I've never tasted the snowman. I'm exactly. I'm kind of excited to see what happens. Oh well. The same thing as if you shoot it. Very good. So now I think we have our demo. Yeah, and as soon as you wanna, you finish your demo, just type in one other command, which is stop. Big surprise. So here we have it. Recording time: 35 seconds. Frames. 2300 almost so that is how you record the demo you can simply watch it by going into the demo user interface demo UI and then this little window pops up um, you can also get this one I think it's on default on shift and F2 at least it's for me and we load our demo penis of course and we load our penis now I'm sorry for penis troubles. And so yeah, this is already the demo. As I, I'm doing nothing right now, you just... I mean, it's hard to see for you guys, but this is just what we recorded before. And 
yeah, so anything that you record, you can you can record a death match like that, a community uh, competitive match, anything you want to do that involves Counter Strike Global Offensive. So I, th I think it's pretty simple. But now let's get into the real thing, like the Bandicam stuff and how you convert it into an AVI file. So I just loaded a random competitive match demo that I played like a week ago or something. It was just, you know, nothing spectacular. And if you want to start your AVI movie, or better said start recording with Bandicam, you just press the F9 button. In my case, in your case, whatever button that you cho chose to be it. Um, yeah, but... So anything that we're going to do now, so if I'm flying around, if I'm, yeah, being at myself, watching myself, or if I'm watching an enemy, so anything is going to be recorded. And you simply stop the movie by pressing the F9, the start and stop button again. Yeah, pretty simple actually. So I'm going to show you the AVI movie in a second. Alright, so now we're back at my laptop and I have the Bandicam stuff on default on the documents Bandicam. And here is the latest thing that we recorded. And yeah, that's anything that I just recorded. I mean, you watched it and yeah. So here we are, and this is basically the, in my opinion, this is the easiest way possible, so to get your converted demos into an AVI file. And yeah, so that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. If you stumbled across the like button on your way out, I wouldn't mind. And see you soon.